Day. A warm welcome for a familiar face on home turf, a leader who's no stranger here. Come on, Boarding a biodiesel bus, Elizabeth May embarked on a campaign blitz across Vancouver Island, hitting all seven ridings in two days. Thank you for your support. It means Honored a lot. to see you here. Aww. The Greens have stalled in the polls over the course of the campaign, but the party is still poised for potential gains on the West Coast and the East Coast. We're in winning position in ridings across the country that in the past we wouldn't have thought was even remotely possible. This is a crisis. With countless coastal communities serving as the campaign backdrop, there's little doubt the Greens are desperate to mobilize the environmental vote. What is the most critical issue for voters here that you are going to get those left of center votes? Salmon is a huge issue. Saving our southern resident killer whales is a huge issue. The climate crisis, sea level rise, these are huge issues. <laughs> It's here on this island battleground, the orange and green tug of war is particularly prominent. Five of the seven seats are held by the NDP. The other two are the Greens' only two seats. This is one of two ridings the Greens are fighting to protect. Paul Manley won the spring by-election in a surprise victory, but it's no guarantee he'll win it again in the general election. How critical is it that you hang on to this seat? Well, we need more Greens in the House of Commons. We need a conscience in the House of Commons. I'm the one that's going to make sure we don't elect a Conservative in this riding. One, two, and so a campaign that began with grand green ambitions is ending that way too. The chances that we are going to take all seven seats on Vancouver Island are excellent. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Qualicum Beach, BC.